Hey guys, Vim 17 here. We're back with another episode of Amnesia. And I know you guys have been looking forward to this. Me, Amnesia, with decent quality camera. I know I've been looking forward to it. So we've got a decent quality camera, we've got a decent quality mic, and we've got Amnesia. What could be better? You think of very little that could be better. Oh, that's better. That's even better because we're in a... I thought it was going to be in an area full of monsters, but we're actually in an area that's not full of monsters. So that's better. Oh, the morgue, yay. The red taint burst from the walls as if they had begun to bleed. He cried out in fear as the spectacle, the spectacle began to consume the blue shimmer. Wasn't that charming? Do you see, Daniel? It has yielded. What? Sure has. The shadow. It has? For now. Come, let's get this out of here so we can get some peace. Yes, let's. Where to? Just down the corridor, to the morgue. Are there more dead men there? You did well, Daniel. Come, let's get going. Uh, what? No, I wasn't muting in the course while he was talking. breathing, Daniel. Do you hear me? Have you changed your mind? Is that his dick? Well, that's not very big. We're doing him a favor by cutting him, by cutting him off. It's, it's less of an embarrassment. It's very pixely shadows. It's because the shadow quality's down. I guess I shouldn't be expecting the best thing in the world under the circumstances. Well, okay. Oh, just what I always wanted for my birthday. Piles of naked men. What could be better? Can I not, like, grab their bodies and drag them out for funsies? Is that just not allowed? Is that, is that where the game draws a line as being too grim? The vaccine enabling my mental work in the fungi-ridden sewer is a definite success. Unfortunately, only a few of the servants have been remedied as a procedure proved difficult. The others will perish, and eventually I'll have to create more of them to create my, keep my experiments running. Note that an injection of vaccinated blood will work as a shield long enough to pass the sewers without any risk of infection. It will do fine for prisoner transport. Oh, that's lovely. Ah, a cipher. I fear for Daniel, for he is reckless. He is tainted by the approaching shadow and will not be able to pass the gate. Will he be able to accept this in the end? My love, I've seen evil in him. How am I to trust him with the truth? What cruel irony that I have to do unto him that what Agrippa did unto me. Bastard. Well, at least I know all of his soft words are bullshit now. Okay. Aha! I down him. Another tinder box. For funsies. I missed the orgy. God damn it. Why did I tell you guys about having orgies without me? You bastards. Honestly. What are they like, guys? What are they like? I'm trying to make sure I'm still centered in the camera. It's really hard because this camera is not exactly uh, the easiest camera to make sure you're centered in without looking at it every five seconds. I'm sure there's nothing behind there. Well, okay, where the fuck did... What the hell happened there? Okay, so this is the way I want to go next. Just to check. What? What happened? Why are all these dead? Where am I? What happened? What is that constant background noise I'm hearing? It's like a bell only. Constant. Three days now. This is ridiculous. Why doesn't someone come to this room? Hey! Anybody? Am I alone here? Help! Help! I'm so tired. If I sleep, then I'll wait for this nightmare. 
take me in my sleep. Was that a baby or a man screaming? I honestly no, couldn't tell. Ooh. Got a bat of insanity coming on there, Danny. You okay, Danny boy? You okay? Let's check out mementos. The fine copper tooth and the mold looks like part of a surgical tool. The body is still stiff in the rigor mortis and it can't be altered in a day. Vaccine enabling my mental. Okay, that's notes. We'll find a copper tube. Uh, da da da. Corpse in the morgue is only a day old. Oh, yay! Does that mean we can have fun with the corpse? If I recall correctly, there's a jump scare on one of these. I mean, honestly, children play this game. At least children watch me play this game. I'm not censoring the dicks, by the way, so if there are any concerned parents watching, fuck you. You should be monitoring what your children are watching on YouTube, you sick fucks. Ugh! Letting your kids look at porn. It's not porn, there's not really any insect. You get my point, though. It's not my fault. I just make the videos, people. God, so I was, uh, I was actually looking up this, um... Oh, hello! Can we not just... Cut off his head, would that not just be acceptable? No. Okay, what I'm just saying right here is if we do it like this, right? And then we place it over his neck, and then we start going. Eh. Eh. Apparently, the game doesn't want to saw off his head. See, I remember this part sort of, but I can't remember well enough to, uh, actually know what to do. Which is a problem. I'm gonna have to go over to the other area first in order to find uh, what I need to do. Yeah, it certainly looks that way because there's nothing here. We'll double check the first room and the door got kicked off its hinges. There's gonna be a monster around here at some point. I play this game too much, I now know when shit's gonna happen. Oh, why? Of course, no, I know what I gotta do now. Okay. Isn't that lovely, guys? Not being checked as the proper tool. Aha! Oh, God. Ugh, that is gross. That is disgusting. Is my character at all worried about, like, AIDS or... I fucking knew it. I told you, didn't I? Oh no, it's Moose Man. See, attacking me wouldn't be profitable for anybody. Let's really think about this for a minute. We're standing the lights so we don't go completely insane. Uh, apparently I'm already going completely insane. We're gonna run. It might have been a poof for one once it disappears after a while. So we're going completely inside. Uh, contained. The blue light blinded him. Oh crap, I couldn't read it. I was trying to like, uh, go there. I'll do bollocks though. 
Look at our vision, we're going completely insane. We need to stay within the light to regain a bit of, a bit of sanity and then we'll uh, move on in a bit. So it says regain sanity by staying in the light. And, uh, by staying in the light and making progress. We're going very much insane, people. A few cuts and bruises. Okay, well, let's look at the cuts and lie down. Oh, God. That cause for lie down in there. Barely conscious. We're not fucking useful, people. I hold you personally responsible. Somehow. My fault. <laughs> That's just insane. Like, we're super uber insane right now. We've got, like, no sound to that. Well, we need to go to the system. Alexander knew there must be a way to finish the ritual before it was too late. He had to teach his friend to harvest the vitae. That much was certain. Oh, I remember this area. There's a water monster. How can certain water from the spring? Yes, it enables me to control the water in the drain sewers to some extent. Also, it can be used for all sorts of purposes. Like the drinking? Yeah, well, that too. But mostly to run different machines. Ah, like water mills. Exactly. I don't know exactly what happens if you do go insane in this game. What a ta! What a Some hardcore parkour going on right here, guys. See, I fucking told you it was a walk monster. Still made me jump though, because I didn't realize how close he was. 7th of August, 1839. There is no denying that Alexander puts a lot of faith into what I can only describe as magic. I'm not surprised. Even while traveling across Europe, I assumed I would have to embrace the supernatural to save my mind and life. As a novice, I do everything in my power to stay focused and not dwell too much on my own doubts. Hello, my baby! My woke me up early and told me it was time we got started on our work. We Hello, my honey! We were excited to get going and we headed downstairs to the old dungeon where he preferred to attempt his rituals. It turns out that Alexander is a true Renaissance man, paralleled only by Da Vinci, I'm sure. He showed me several rooms fitted for specific research, such as anatomy studies, alchemy, and botany. The crown of Brennenberg must be the inner sanctum, a most hallowed ground where we shall attempt to permanently banish the orb's shadow. Hello, my backstreet girl! We didn't think I was done, did you? Uh -oh. There are valves and cisterns for the water from the sewer. When you just go in shit and when you just go shit and die. Okay. We really do not want to be caught in the water because that's essentially a death sentence. Oh no, no. Oh god. I don't know what happens if you go insane, you know. Like, for the life of me, I never actually. Did we just trap ourselves? I know, we're alright. I think. Ah! Thank you. Got up there. We're trying not to stay in the water for more than a couple of seconds because to do so, to stay in the water that is, is a death wish. We've got 11 tinder boxes, Jesus Christ. I wish we had 11 oil bottles. That'd be fucking useful. <laughs> that would be unstoppable. There's somebody in there if I remember correctly. I'm 
I'm gonna go insane before I'm making real progress. Yeah, there we go. See, I know puzzles. You guys think I'm just a big idiot. That is kind of creepy though, the, the whole cockroaches all over my screen type deal. They definitely got the creepy factor down on this game. It's not scary, it's just creepy. I could never be certain until today. That was on the right path. Use my orb. Alexander managed to channel his power up to us. The same things I felt in the dark chamber in Algeria. It was like standing in a mad whirlpool of impressions. It was terrifying. But Alexander kept calm and wielded strange tools of science in order to tame the storm. Suddenly, the blue light was stained by strings of red, and the walls burst with pulsating tissue resonating with the scene. Alexander quickly covered the orb with some cloth. Unspeakable thing vanished. Apparently, all the shadow is closer than Alexander thought. He said I should prepare for a warning ritual tomorrow. I'm not sure what he expects, but I have a bad feeling about this. Does that mean monster go bye bye? No, no, the water's still pretty deep. Deep enough for a big stupid asshole monster. In fact, it doesn't need to be very deep for a big stupid asshole monster. What's our sand here? Okay, so standing in the light really does help. We're back to head head is pounding and hands are shaking. Which means I don't feel too bad about going in the darkness, a little bit of darkness. And we're gonna light up another tinder box right here. We need to try and... Oh god. Ah! Ah! I'm gonna die. Ah! The pain! The sexy bondage pain. Ah! I should fucking think so after all the damage I've taken, Jesus Christ. I can't believe I am conscious. Ah, uh, there it is. Back to August 1839. It is still early, and Alexander is busy preparing for the ritual later today. Seeing him this worked up makes me question why. What does he stand to gain? I realize he is curious about it all, but surely there must be more. Is he so foolish he will attempt to tame the power of the ore? I must admit that yesterday, when Alexander flooded the inner sanctum with blue light, I realized we had but graced the orb's true potential. This might turn out to be more than escaping a creeping shadow. It might be the beginning of something truly extraordinary. Sad like a true mad scientist. And, yep. Oh, that's interesting. So when you make progress, apparently you heal as well. That's, um... That's fucking... That's useful. Oh, that's awesome, actually. Uh... Okay. Who's around here? Do you be dicking with me? You eat shit and die, motherfucker.
I knew it. You absolute cock nugget. I fucking knew it. Ow! Oh, so you're gonna start hurting me again, are you? Great, we didn't bring anything to throw either. Ah! How do you like that, motherfucker? We need it all. I don't know where we're, to, where we're supposed to go from here, guys. I don't know if we're done in this area or what. He's chasing after me like a pedo chasing down a little five-year-old girl. I am going to hell. <laughs> Straight to hell. For that joke. Just that joke alone has doomed me to an eternity of suffering. I'm gonna have the devil ramming a pitchfork up my ass for the rest of eternity. Oh, feck off! I actually don't know where I came from. It's a fat bit of cat and I do. I've been married a long time ago. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? Cat and I do. It's a fat bit of cat and I do. I've been married a long time ago. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? Cat and I do. Oh, here you go. Wow, he's fucking slow. I wish that was enough to make me feel better about this, but it isn't. I don't know where the exit is. I lost my way out. Well, I've lost a lot of shit in my lifetime. I don't think I've ever lost a way out of a, a maze. Right, maybe we've got to go over there. The fuck is right there? RUN! See, it's just like Minecraft, we can at least faster. I hope. Don't you dare go any further than that. RUN! Ah, 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 ah. I am not trusting that water service. Ah, my oil is gone. Well, that was oddly convenient. Okay, the beautiful world of Awkward seems a testament to nature's strength, being able to grow inside Brennenberg. Alas, it was Alexander's studies and care which enabled the flower to blossom. <laughs> Lovely. Okay, let's, uh, let's never do that again. A few cuts of bruises, a slight headache. And no oil. Uh, well, well, let's, let's our situation time was. We're twenty four. We're twenty five minutes in. I actually think this is a good place to cut it in. We're in the cistern. It's the only place we're gonna be safe for a while. Um, we've actually got quite a bit done. I'm actually really happy with the way this turned out for this episode. So, yeah, tell me how you guys like my new uh, webcam. Actually, while you're at it, tell me how you like my HD webcamness. I've also started doing thumbnails. Like uh, at my last slender video, I started doing. Um, 
heavily edited thumbnails. So go check them out. I'll be trying to produce more high quality thumbnails. So uh, I think the one I produced for uh, the Slender video is me looking horrified while Slender's next to me. It's uh, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So um, yeah, I, I guess that's it for this video, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Uh, leave a comment. Give me some feedback. And uh, yeah, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I really do appreciate it. As always. I'll see you in the next video. This is Vinkin117 signing out. See you later, hunters.